First pitch from Reddy is in there. 3.02 the start time as we are officially underway from Greensboro. Counting that correctly. Transfer from Texas A&M as he drives that one right center field. That's going to get into the gap, and that's going to be extra bases right off the jump. A leadoff double is Harrison. He wants three. The relay throw is in and not going to be in time. Hits eighth, and then Parker Nolan brings up the nine hole. Ground ball over the left side. Scooped up at short by Budzik. He'll go to first, but the first run will come in to score on the ground out by Groover the third. The 2-2, two -two, that ball driven deep left field, looking up, going back, and looking up at the wall, and it's gone. Candelaria strikes again, his third homer on the year, and that one got out in a hurry. Yeah, that was served on a platter. Fastball down the middle, didn't miss it, and prior to today, this is their second road game in 13 games. First pitch swing, that one drive, deep center field, going back and looking up, and that's going to be off the top of the wall. It will be extra bases to start the game for UNCG. As that ball was well struck by Jones. That one, little looper right field trailing all the way, going all the way back to the wall, and that's going to be extra bases. Not able to make the play as Candelaria is. He throws it in. They're going to hold Jones over at third. And that one certainly looked like the wind helped it out. Back-to-back -back doubles for number seven and number two. Three, two, that one driven deep left center field. That one's gonna get down for a base hit. One run's gonna come in to score. They're gonna hold the runner at third in Budzik. First base, a lot. That one popped up, looking and shielding the eyes in center field is Nolan as he does settle underneath it, makes the catch. He's gonna throw it into second. It will be a sacrifice fly and it's two to two. When runners are on for Jonas, he comes through. Another 3-2, that one lofted right field. A few steps back to the right, shielding the eyes, and coming over to make the catch is Candelaria. And that's going to do it in the first. And Elliot Avon's going to give up his number as he drives that one into right field. That's going to get down for a base hit, a leadoff single for Peebles. Must like wearing his, his normal number. As that one runs inside and hits him. 1-1, one, one, ground ball on the right side. That's going to sneak through for a base hit. Harrison's two for two. They're going to be sending the runner from second. That's Peebles. The throw is going to be into second, and NC State has the lead again. Didn't work out as Green crushes that one. Deep left center field. Looking up and watching it fly into the trees. Peyton Green, three-run blast, and NC State tacks on a few more. His fourth home run in five games. 25 ribbies on the year. That's his seventh now of the season. That puts him in the top echelon, tied for sixth in the country Gators this season. He's a sophomore as well. That one gets by the catcher, and it'll be a walk for Lou James Groover the third. There's the 1-1 one -one ground ball through the hole on the left side. The defense was shifted, trying to go first to third is Groover, and he will be in sliding to Trice. That one misses. Trice will take off the old shin guard and head on down to first, and the bases are loaded. Candelaria on second. Trice at first and swinging at the first pitch. That one looks like it's deep. Right center field looking up, and it is gone. Grand slam. First pitch, Eli Serrano the third. It's 10-2 to two, NC State. And that one kept carrying. And the thing that's been really impressive for NC State is when they're hitting these balls, they are hitting them in the gaps. And I've seen this with Callahan plenty of times. A lot of pitchers, they don't like to mess with him. There goes the runner for second inside, ball four. To all the coaches out there. Oh, a little looper, that's going to get down for a base hit. Drops out in front of right field, Candelaria. One run's going to come in to score as they just throw it back into second. Watt comes hustling in, a little RBI single and a two-hit game for Zach Budzik. Mitchell Smith, he's one for one with a single, and he's going to pop that one up in the infield, tailing back towards the right first baseman, Serrano, settling underneath it. As you go, okay, you know, did some things here that I liked. Give yourself a walk. Runner at second. Here's Jarman, flies one opposite field. Left, Trice underneath it, he'll let it drop. 
Hit it into no man's land. Holds the bat kind of perpendicular behind his shoulder. That's carrying right center field and deep. Nolan Candelari going back and see you later. Sayonara baseball, Caleb Cozart. A three run bomb. And it's 10 to six NC State. Cozart went yard to left on Sunday against Rutgers and finds the right center field gap over the fence at the G to cut it to four. And just freeze him with a fastball. And Watt hits one in between the hole, right field. And he's on for the second time. Walked and scored in the second. Callahan's going, I'm Watt's going. A strong throw from Cozart. And a stolen bag for Watt, his first of the season. Bat head around. Jones, another chopper, tough play. Here is Green, and he won't beat it. And here comes Watt, drops the ball, Cozart. Watt will score to make it 10-7. Out of two strike count. Now he gets him with the slider on the hook. Here's the payoff. And Mitch right back up the middle for a base hit. He's been on base twice today. He's two for three. And he hits one into the right center field gap. That ball is carrying. And that one will go over the wall for a ground rule double. That will halt Smith at third. And Jonas has yet another extra base hit this season. He almost wears it. And he did wear it. Brushed off the shoulder. And bases are loaded for GC Jarman. A chopper over towards short. Tough play for Green. That will score Smith on the 6-3 putout. And it's cut to two, 10-8. Ten to eight. Again, Saw they didn't have it, and he didn't force it. Callahan in between the hole, gets past the diving Harrison. Jonas will score. Here comes Serta, and we're tied at 10. It gets past Serrano, and Callahan advances to second. Eight unanswered for the Spartans. I mean, you have, you have new life. A walk for Watt. And we're back to the top of the order for Kennedy Jones. A rule double. Kennedy Jones, high chopper. Green. I don't think he got there in time. And he did not. Look at the wheels from Watt getting there to second. And what Green thought would have been an inning ending fielder's choice. And bases are loaded for Zach Budzik. Britain the payoff. Got him swinging in the dirt. I mean, I'd be worried if they weren't. <laughs> Walk for Nolan as he gets on base for the first time this afternoon. Looks good on him. 3-1, that one popped up. Shallow center field going out as Watt hustling in is Jones, and he's not going to be able to get there. Drops in, falls around. They're going to send the runner from first to third, and NC State back on top. That one hard ground ball over to short. Budzik bobbles it a little bit, but he's going to come up, throw over to first in time. More reliable arms for the Ducks as he misses inside. It's a leadoff walk. Pause from Britain. Runs inside and it hits him. Squaring to bunt. Serta gets it down. Britain comes up, tries to bare hand it. No play is going to be made. If you have to put down the scale of 1 to 10, that was a 10 on the bunt from Serta. 1 2. That one got him. Caught the outside corner. And UNCG strands the bases loaded. Really good baseball teams in that conference. Uh, three pitches from Schaffner and three strikes to the season. Yes, Serta goes down on strikes. Slider down the dirt. Cozart over to Eli. And he's down looking again. Andrew Schaffner strikes out the side and and he walks him. 3-2, Groover goes. And base on balls for the second time. As he slides into second. And Peoples with a base hit back up the middle. Groover will score. Here comes Candelaria. It's a two run, two out single for Cannon Peoples. Breaks the stalemate and NC State takes a 13 to 11 lead. And he goes down on strikes and a nasty breaking ball from Wolf. Excuse me. Nick Schaffner looked not so invincible. And a base hit down the right field line for Cozart. And 
The streak continues as he heads to second for a leadoff double for the Spartans. Three and one to Watt, and Watt wears it. However, that does set up the double play, and this will bring up Kennedy Jones. One out in the inning, and he hits someone into right field for a base hit. Gozart will score. Budzik heads over to third. The play at third is cut off, and Jones advances to second. An RBI single for Kennedy Jones. Cuts it to one, it's 13-12. Here's the pitch, and he got him swinging. Wake Forest, Alabama, and Troy, the other fours. There's the walk to Souls, a pinch hit, leadoff walk. Squaring to bunt, getting the bunt down. Harrison fielded and running all the way over camp, has to scoop it up with a glove and gets the out. The sacrifice bunt moves the go-ahead run to second. Souls off a second, that one, little looper out to second. Harrison coming in, that's going to drop in for a base hit. And Souls is in to take the lead. Lou James Groover gets his first hit and it's a big one as he drives in the go ahead run. Swinging, rips that one in the hole on the left side. Another run's gonna come in to score. Groover the third up standing. The lead's back out to two runs for NC State. And pitch, that one popped up. Looks like it's gonna stay playable. Smith rolls over, comes back into fair territory and makes the play. Two runs come in. Reach and a miss. Strikeout in the first out, two away from closing the game down. NC State. Check swing, doesn't matter. Called strike three. Little chopper out towards second. Harrison comes running in. He's gonna have to make a tough play. That's the ball game. Harrison throws out Jarman. NC State moves to 13-0, and they win 15-13 over UNCG.